Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. Guys, they have a review and of course it's of the Alcatel One T7. And of course this is a 7 inch tablet from Alcatel. Alright, so of course this is one of the budget offerings that you can pick up online. You can fix it up around, uh, the price is usually over in somewhere around $50. So it's a really a budget device. And of course what you get for this, you get actually a, I would say just okay device um, in that it's not going to be super fast. Um, it's not gonna get all of the best features, but it will get you basically functional ability. All right, so if you check it out, Alcatel um, 1T7, I have an unboxing, you can check that out as well. You'll check out the apps. By default, these are all the apps. I haven't modified anything. Um, of course, you notice that it's running light versions of every app. So of course, it's not a powerhouse. It's not super, super fast, but of course, it will get the job um, done just for basic stuff. So you'll notice for youtube as well as using the go version so it cannot handle full load of most apps but it as we said it just do the basic stuff all right so of course remember it's running inside um in terms of specs for a camera it has um, a five megapixel and a two megapixel camera so the front facing is um just let me take a picture so this is the five megapixel so this is a superior one on the um, back on the front we have two megapixels not that impressive so we're going to focus on the main camera so we're just going to take a picture of my plants here this logo just to give you a general idea if we go to the gallery you can see here so of course i'm jittering um, so there's a little bit um no image stabilization um here's a better more stable picture that i've took and of course you can see um you're just getting average photos um, the front facing camera will just get you through video calls and so on. So that's for the 5 megapixel camera. 2 megapixel will be uh, worse or roughly half the quality. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM and 1 gigabyte of RAM. So of course they say it's a quad core processor and it comes with Android Oreo, the Go edition. So that again, the fact again that it's the fact again that this is running the Go edition means that um, of course it's not full-blown android well it is full-blown android however it's like a lightened version um that makes it easier so on the system so if you see here it's android version 810 and this is the mt6739 version it gives you the kernel it gives you all the information about um this device so of course um it runs standard apps if you want but of course as you can see guys um in terms of stuff like web browsing it's not going to be super fast, but it does get the job done. So as you can see here, we can do stuff like YouTube. We can enjoy our content, music, and so on. But of course, I reserve this only for um, basic um, stuff, such as web browsing, a little bit of simple games, especially if those games are much simpler. And of course, I'd stick for best performance to the light versions of the apps. It also has a built-in SIM card, meaning that you can um, use this as a telephone. So, of course, that's another advantage. So, you can pop a SIM in and, of course, you can browse the internet. Or you can um, use the basic telecommunication features. That's the GSM features that this device will allow. All right. So, that's one of the, the nice features. As you said, it has a telephone. You can text as well if you do text. Or you can use more traditional means such as WhatsApp and so on. So, if you want, this could be a merger of your phone and tablet. Or, of course, you can use a tablet. You can use a phone. Or just combine both you can add your contacts just like a real phone except that's a tablet all right you do get the full suit of google apps and of course you should know your way around general android there's not much i can say about this but for 50 dollars or roughly 50 dollars you can pick this up on amazon you do get a case that's also included as a part of the package so this is like a bare bones um deal that gives you all you need to start functioning in the form of a tablet so if you're on a very tight budget and you just need something that will get you through and of course you'd have to sacrifice a lot of performance it's just okay so of course um if this were i'll stick to the basic amazon um overall rating so they give it basically roughly or roughly almost three stars or 2.5 stars so of course i'll give this um 50 out of 100 basically it's there it's not perfect and it's not totally garbage but of course it does get things done all right um if you're coming from a faster tablet such as a high performance samsung or 
Apple devices, you're going to kind of notice the um, slowness. Um, so that you're going to bear that um, also in mind too. Um, of course, upgrades. Um, this one, I don't think you're going to get all the latest versions of Android. As of checking, I've noticed that it says up to date. So you do get a kind of outdated version of Android, which is 8.1. Um, I think that's Oreo, if I'm correct. Yes, Oreo, the Go Edition. So, of course, they haven't done any updated versions. So that, again, um, after a while, some apps might get um, not be compatible. So, of course, just to wrap up, um, um, the good things about this Alcatel 1T7 is, one, it's very, very affordable. Two, it um, gives you basic stuff out of the package, such as the case, which is a nice addition. So it's a great value bundle. Um, three, you do get everything to get you started out of the pack. Four, it does come with um, support for SIM, so it can double as a phone. So those are the three strong points of this, along with the price, which is very affordable. Um, the cons are it's not a powerhouse. Um, two, you have to settle for lighter apps to get the best performance. Full-blown apps can work, but of course, it's not super fast. And of course, overall, if you are used to a faster device, you're going to notice that this is unbearable. And of course, it's basically bare bones scraping at the edges of affordability. So I hope I'm um, clear on that so you get the general idea. Um, what I recommend this for, I recommend this as a kid's tablet. You would have to keep it cleaned up and running to make sure um, it runs just the basic stuff and of course you can't do any heavy heavy stuff on this so keep it to the basic kid stuff keep it cleaned up and it should run um, just okay but you'd have to keep cleaning it as it seems that it will be prone to slow down over time and overall um, do I recommend this no um, only if you are um, in a very tight budget situation or maybe you just want a kid's tablet to give a child to play and of course you'll be controlling what's going on it and it's just the basic kid stuff or maybe an adult that needs a phone slash tablet they're on a tight budget again they just need something to get stuff through the gate um that's the only way i recommend this in that case and they're a very tight budget all right so my little tutorial here it's always recorded from block tech tips say man until next time bye